don't care what anybody says. I don't know how you're gonna stop this. Wait, wait, wait. Did you see that? Did you see that? UFO! The aliens are here, mother humpers! Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes with. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. Hey everybody, King Dingbat here. I'm in my garage with a cigar. It's only a candy cigar because my wife won't let me smoke one. After I put that big fat head up in our bedroom, that let's get rid of that. Uh, at this point, uh, I'd be happy for that to be blamed for somebody else. And my team stinks. I agree. Stinks. They laugh about us. We're a disgrace. We suck. Dallas still stinks. You're my do way, King Ding Bat here, and I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I hope you guys are doing well. You know, this is the last weekend of June. It's the last weekend of June. Thank God. Thank God, because it is slow. It is dead. Not a lot of news going on right now. And I'm trying to take advantage of it the best I can. You know, rest up, get ready for the season, clear your head. Because once football starts, it's going to be insane. I'm telling you, I am going to be there every single day. You're going to have to deal with me. Uh, and for those who are new to this channel, since we've had a, we've had a lot of people uh, subscribe since the end of the season. Um, when it comes to the Eagles, I stream every preseason game. I stream every Eagles game, and we're going to also be trying to do every NFC East game that doesn't, you know, go up against the Eagles schedule. So, we got a lot of stuff going on, so if you haven't, please like, please subscribe. I appreciate it, uh, and it means a lot, you know. But I'm trying to take advantage of this time, and, and all I keep thinking about is this season, is this season. And obviously, we all saw the clip of Jalen Hurts working out with Devontae Smith, uh, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And you saw the UFO, right? You saw the mother humping UFO. Them aliens are coming. The, the government even admitted it. They said their UFOs are real. We don't know where they come from, but they're real. Let me tell you something. They don't know where they come from. They're not coming from another country. It's all a matter of time. It's all a matter of time before, before they tell you it's off world. Then if they tell you off world, Fake alien invasion. You watch, you'll see. I talk about it in my conspiracy theories. But anyways, I'm getting off topic now. I could talk about this for hours. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, what the hell is that noise? That sounds like a UFO. I've, I've seen a couple in my life. But uh, anyways, I'm getting off topic. This is what I do sometimes. But anyways, we all saw the video of Jalen Hurts working out with Devontae Smith. And I, I got to tell you. You know, you, you saw the list on CBS where he's ranked, what, like number four or something. You have that uh, Anon Ross Brown, whoever the hell that is. Uh, he's ahead of Devontae Smith on the list of, of productive receive, rookie receivers for this year. I really believe this. I wholeheartedly do. If Devontae Smith was drafted by Dallas, if he would have been drafted by the Giants, you would be hearing nothing but praise about how good this guy is going to be, how great he could be. But because he goes to the Eagles, people sleep on him. People sleep on him. And I don't know if that's a direct shot at Jalen Hurts. I don't know if that's partly a direct shot at Jalen Hurts and Devontae Smith. But I am sick and tired of it. I am sick and tired of it. I cannot wait until they get on the field and they double moonwalk that ass. Double moonwalk that ass. I am waiting for that like crazy. You know, I really think that when it comes to Devontae Smith, when it comes to even Jalen Hurts, I think that you are looking at two guys who could be one of the most dynamic young guys in the NFL. Two dynamic young guns in the NFL. I really do. I don't see, when I look at Jalen Hurts, I see a guy who 
is very motivated, has a lot to prove. We keep hearing about his work ethic, about his offseason, about his approach, about how his teammates love him. All his intangibles are perfect, are perfect. And now you even have Joe Flacco, a guy who in the past hasn't even wanted to give credit to other quarterbacks that he's fighting over you know, with the job. He's giving him credit. He says the guy's great uh, in practice, great with the guys, great in the classroom. So... Jalen Hurts, there's no reason for me to think that this guy is going to be as bad as other people like him, or like to claim that he's going to be, okay? I'm expecting him to have a good year, okay? And then when it comes to Devontae Smith, I, I, I really think that if he was on any other team, he would be treated with a lot more respect. But because he comes to Philly, they, they just shoo-shoo him. They just, ah, he's Philly. That's what they do. They don't like us. They don't like us. We don't care because I love Devontae Smith. You know what I'm saying? I love him. And the tr I'm sorry for the pause, but the cat guy just called me. That's right. The cat guy. He's after me, okay? So here's what's going on, right? My kids want a cat. They want a cat. We move. I said, I want to come back for vacation. We're looking at getting you a cat. So one cat has now turned into two cats, okay? And so I'm like, now I'm stuck. Going to get two cats. Go from zero pets to two cats. Hey, look, why not get a German Shepherd? We can have a regular zoo here. You know what I mean? This is insane. So I got the cat guy calling me. I'm going to end up having two cats. And look, I like cats. I like dogs. I just don't want to change no litter. I don't want to deal with that crap. I don't want to deal with giving that. I don't want it. You give me a dog, I'll take it for walk or fine. But, you know, what the hell's happening here? Anyways. That's what happened. The cat guys called me. So, anyways, where was I? Oh, yeah. I love Devontae Smith. Okay? So, I love him. And I really, really do believe if he went anywhere else, he would be treated a lot better. And like I said, I don't know if that's a reflection on they just hate the Eagles. They just are, are you know, not giving Jalen Hurts any credit. Or they really think that Devontae Smith is too small. Any of these people that have him ranked four now... In the draft, would they have picked Brown over him? Would they have picked Moore over him? Would they have picked these guys over Devontae Smith? No, they wouldn't. But as soon as he comes to Philly, then it's an issue. It's a problem. I'm not buying it. I have high expectations for Devontae Smith. I think Devontae Smith, just by watching him, just by, well, first of all, his name, right? Devontae Smith. Sounds like a good football player. Jalen Hurts. Sounds like a good football player. I can tell if a guy is going to be good by his name. And you can, and we all could do it. Just think about it. I mean, Jerry Rice, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Todd Stinkston, James Trash, <laughs> Nelson Stinkelar. I mean, come on, dude. You know those guys stink just by the name. Devontae Smith. Okay, so that's the first way you know. But I, I, I tell you, I think that Devontae Smith has the it, it factor. I think when you look at him, he, to me, should be Offensive Player Rookie of the Year. One of the candidates for him for Offensive Player, Offensive Rookie of the Year, we'll say, okay? I'm not even saying you have to give him the Rookie of the Year because Rookie of the Year often goes to quarterbacks. Uh, but Offensive Rookie of the Year is where I think he's going to be. Now, I'm not saying he's necessarily going to win it, although I think he's going to have a good shot. But I think he's one of the candidates. I think Devontae Smith, I mean, if you look at the Eagles' wide receiving core, who is so much better than him that he's not going to be out there getting snaps, getting reps, okay? Well, he's going to be out there starting. So there's no reason to think that Devontae Smith is not going to get a lot of reps, not going to get a lot of action. And I think it's going to turn into a big year. I think Devontae Smith is... To me, I think of Marvin Harrison when I think of Devontae Smith. I think he's that type of player. You know, he's got to avoid some big shots, things like that, play smart. But if he does that, I think he's the best route runner in this draft. I think he has some of the best hands in this draft. I think he's an absolute big-time game football player. You saw what he did in, in, in the last bowl game he played in. He went off. The guy is going to be a stud. And Jalen Hurts has a huge advantage than a lot of our other young quarterbacks that we have brought up through the Eagles system over the last 15, 20 years. They actually gave him a weapon. They actually gave him a weapon. Now, you get Devontae Smith. You get Miles Sanders. 
Now you have him, Miles Sanders. Hopefully a healthy offensive line. Lane Johnson, Brandon Brooks. My God, man. Can I cannot wait. Cannot wait for football to start. I need it. I need it now. Oh, I want preseason so bad. And the funny thing about that is as soon as preseason starts, I'll be like the happiest guy, right? Preseason game. I'll be streaming the preseason game. First series is over. I'm done with preseason. Let's get to the football season. But right now... I will take mother humping preseason. No question about it. Look at that. Good God. I'm a, I wait, we won. He's coming this year. <laughs> Let's get it on. Mark Holmes going down. Pizzle's going down. Bad dog. End of day. They're all going down. Because the Eagles, we're coming for everybody. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a dingbat. So you mean to tell me we are getting two cats today? We are going from zero cats to two? Two cats from zero to two. Did you see that? Brand new house to a zoo. If you want to get your zoo tickets, come on. I'm going to be charged. Am I going to get a dog now?